So in this video, I'm going to improve my store with coins. And I will put this link in the description. You click on this, you'll get to this page, and you can open up my store, or you can, you can do this with your own store. Just go ahead and hit edit. This will open up. And a couple of my objectives, I wanna add another weapon, and I wanna add some checks to the store to make sure that you can't buy anything if you don't have any money. So right now, if we bought something with a rocket launcher, even if we had zero coins, we would just be in debt. So let me go to Toolbox and get a gun, because I have a rocket, and now I'm gonna do a gun. I'll do a pistol. Let's pull the pistol into the workspace, get rid of my toolbox, and I'm gonna take my gun, I'm gonna move this down to replicated storage. So now in replicated storage, I don't have a folder in here. I'm just leaving them loosely in here. I have a handgun and a rocket launcher. So let's go to our starter GUI, screen GUI, and I have my shop frame. I'm gonna keep it the same size. I'm gonna move this rocket up a little bit, this rocket button up a little bit. I'll move my buy button down a little bit. And I'm gonna hit Control D on the rocket button, pull it on down. All right, now this I'm gonna call my, I'll leave that one the rocket. I'll make the, the handgun the top one because it's gonna be cheaper. So it'll be increasing in price. So I'll say hand gun button. And now I gotta change the, uh, the, the, the text. I'm gonna go to my text. I'll say handgun. And I should make it 30. There we go. So that's good. I want to put a message here to give the user feedback if they don't select a weapon or if they don't have enough money. So I'm gonna use a text label. Go to shop frame and add a text label. Now the text label, let's call this message label. All right, I'm gonna make it Anchor point, I'm going to change a lot of this stuff the same way. I'll do anchor point at 0.5 and 0.5. And I'll position, I'll use the same position as my rocket um, button. I'll just hit control C on the position of the rocket button. And then I'll go to position here and paste it. I'm going to do that with a size too. So I'll go down here and a size, copy it. Go to message label, size, there it is, and paste it. Basically, I want to get away from pixels and start using scale. Let's go ahead and just pull this down because now it's going to change on scale, not on pixels. There we go. All right, let's keep going. Let's make it cartoon font so it's consistent. The label, I'll just keep it there for, for now. I want to text, I want to have text scaled but I think I'm gonna make the text color red as it's gonna be warnings. There we go. And let me make the background transparency one. All right, now we can get rid of label because we're gonna populate the text with our message. So where, where it says text here, label, I'm just gonna get rid of this. All right. So now let's go to our shop script and we have a handgun button. So I'm gonna get a variable from a handgun button. Handgun button, script dot parent, and it should be right there, handgun. And we're also gonna get a message label. I'll move this down to here. Local message label equals script parent message label. All right, now when we click on our handgun button, we need, to, we need to capture that event. We need to capture the activated event. So we have a buy, we have a rocket button. Let's go ahead and make a handgun button, activated handgun button. So it's activated and connect this to a function that we will call select handgun. We don't have that yet, so let's make that. Let's go to select rocket. Let's copy select rocket. Control C, 
paste and we'll just change this for all the handgun stuff handgun and we're going to highlight it hand how did i spell it oh here we go handgun button uh there we go nice and we need this to say handgun too we need it to say the same name as in replicated storage so name control c paste it i don't trust my spelling and i'm gonna make that price 30. all right so now that we're selecting stuff and we highlight it if we select one it's going to stay highlighted even if we select the other one we need to clear the selections and we need to clear them when we close a window and we open the window so we're going to need a function for clearing things out for local function i'm going to call it clear selection and we did something like that down here in the buy it when we bought our rocket launcher we turned the button white again when we hit the buy all right, but that didn't work all the time because if you if you closed it any other way than buying it it would stay it would stay the same color and we want to turn it back to white so i have two things i need to turn back when i clear my selection i have my rocket button and you have my my handgun it's right, so a handgun there we go handgun button and then we'll just clear our selection Every time we select something, we're going to clear everything. And when we buy it, let's go ahead and just do the clear selection. Control V. Nice. Also, we default the item and the price. Let's not do that. Let's say nil for the item when we start out. Nil for the price. All right, when we do our clear selection, we also want to do that. Let's say item equals nil and price equals nil. And while we're here, let's take our message label, get the text, and set that to nothing. All right, that way if there's a message in there. All right, nice. Now we can use it a little bit. Let's try it. We go in here, we still don't have checks, but we do have another item. So we can still go negative. I'm gonna get my handgun, I'm gonna buy it. Ah, there it is. And then I'm gonna get my rocket, I'm gonna buy it, and there it is. So when I close the window, if I buy it, that's okay. But watch what happens if I do my shop right here. And I bring it back, ah, oh, I don't know if we should do that, but I think I wanna clear that out. When we close the window, I want all the information to be reset. So basically what I want to do, I'm going to add another, I'm going to add another event. I'm going to catch another event, I should say. I want to get the shop frame. And when the shop frame becomes visible or invisible, if it changes state, I want to call this. So up in the top here, I'm going to make a variable for my shop frame. We say local shop frame equals script dot parent. And now this shop frame, not that I'm going to forget how to spell that. I'm going to add, oh, I'm going to get property changed signal. And I'm going to do the change on visible. So if visibility changes, I'm going to connect my clear selection and just get rid of those two extra, two extra parentheses. Now, that's good. Let's go back. Let's play our game. Now, no matter how you get rid of the window, we'll go like this. I bring it back. It's clear, right? So when the visibility changes i'm going to call the clear selection all right let's put some checks in there now so here in the here in the buy it 
we buy it no matter what. We send the price, we send the item, and we subtract it from the leaderboard, even if it goes negative. But a lot of people don't like that. Let's go ahead and make a variable called money. And I'm going to get it off of the leader stats. I'll say money. So we need a metric in the leader stats called money. We do. We have that. If you don't have that, you should change it to whatever you have. Oh, here it is. Server script service. Here's my leader stats. And there's my money. That's what I'm going to be getting. All right. So I got my money here. Now I'll do if money.value, if I have enough money, if I have more or equal to the price of the item, then I can do this stuff here. I'll clear the selection regardless though. No, let's not clear the selection because we want to have a message, an error message. So I'll say else, let's go ahead and get our message label text. I will say something like not enough money bra. There we go. Hit the play. Open our shop. Get our handgun. We have no money. Ah, uh, not enough money, brah. Try it again. Not enough money, brah. There we go. That's good. Now, here's the one problem that we have to fix. We have one more thing. I bring up my shop. I don't select anything. Ah, uh, I got an error down here. That's because I sent nil to um, my server side to equip it. And I can't equip nil. I need to go and I need to make sure that something is selected. So basically, I need to make sure that item exists. So I'll say if item and money.value. So if item is nil, it should fail here. And price will also be nil, but that's okay. Since this is an and, if the first condition fails, we're going to skip to the else. So let's do this. If the first condition, we're going to have to do another if statement. So I'm going to say if not item, then let's do another message. MSG label text. You didn't select an item. And then this will say else. And then end. So we're going to assume that if we fail here, we're going to check. We're going to check to see if this is okay. If, um, if, if this was nil, we're going to give them this message. If this was okay, we're going to skip down to here and say, oh, it must have been the money part. All right, so if this is nil, not nil would be true. And oh, they didn't select an item. Otherwise, it was a lack of funds uh, that we had a problem with. Let me go ahead and just move this down. It's getting kind of big here. All right, let's play this. We're gonna open our shop and nothing selected. You didn't select an item. Okay, I'll select an item. Ah, not enough money, bro. We're having a lot, a lot of trouble buying this thing. But we have our, we have some of our basic checks in. That's good. Now what do we got? Ah, we got a gun, pistol, and we can buy a rocket. So, the one thing that I want to do in the next video, I want to do a few things. I want to do a buyback, and I also want to check to see if they already have the weapon. Don't sell it to them again. Because now what we can do is if we buy the handgun, uh, now we have too many handguns. All right, so I will see you in the next video. Uh, we'll work on our store a little bit more.